What is up, everybody? It is 6.45 in the morning. This is about one of the last couple days that I got to do any sort of prep for drag week. And today, I'm gonna fight a bear. So some of you probably saw the unboxing video, but today is the day I'm gonna finally slap these bad boys on the car. I'm gonna try and do it before the heat rolls in, man, because it's been brutal. So it feels great outside right now. I got the fan going to keep it as cool as long as possible inside of here. Uh, but we're gonna get this car up in the air. Um, this should all go pretty smoothly. So let's do this. Thank you. Put my hand. Appreciate it.
And that is a wrap. Okay, you're wondering, where's the car? How are you gonna wrap up an install video and not have the vehicle present? Well, there's a good reason for that. If you see by this hat, this is picking place. We're wrapping this up after drag week. And it's been a week since drag week ended. So why is this taking so long? Well, I was hoping to have the car here for it, but being that I reside here in Eastern North Carolina, and this was basically ground zero for Hurricane Florence, I was not able to get back to my house immediately after drag week. We had no electricity, major flooding on the East Coast, and if you've been paying attention to the news whatsoever, you know that this is still ongoing. I can't even get back to go get my car from the relative's house that I left it at. So once drag week was over, um, my life was still pretty much torn and turned upside down. I uh, wasn't sure what the condition of the house was gonna be like when we got back, but we are extremely fortunate that we made out better than some. If you can see that, some of these guys, uh, they're missing whole sections of their roof, trees landing on houses. We didn't have electricity for a few days. I am not complaining. I'm counting every single blessing. We came out very, very fortunate with this whole deal. So. That's why the car's not here, but I'm here to tell you, these brakes performed absolutely amazing. I could not have asked for more out of these things. While other companies' uh, brakes were on other competitors' cars during drag week, and on some of these mountain roads that they took us on, they had to slow down, they had to pull off to the side, let the brakes cool down. I heard multiple stories of guys overheating them and having issues. These things took it all in stride. I am talking, okay, one stage, for example, we went from Bristol, Tennessee, back to Atlanta in one day, one night, four states, 260 miles through the Smoky Mountains. We went from Tennessee to North Carolina to South Carolina. I turned to my passenger and I was like, dude, I don't even know where we are right now. It's 10 o'clock at night. It is pitch black, twisty mountain roads. We have an eight second street car that weighs 3,400 pounds with me in it, plus a 200 pound passenger towing a damn U-Haul trailer packed full of tools, wheels and tires, spare parts. All the things that you never intend an eight second car to have to endure. And these brakes took it all in stride. When I'm talking about twisty, tight mountain turns and passes, I mean twisty, like no shoulder, nowhere to pull over, nowhere to pull off. Look at some of the havoc that was, uh, uh, came from this. There are some cars, uh, they, their brakes overheated so bad that they actually crashed the car and stuffed it into the side of a mountain. And, and they had to withdraw from the competition. The Bear Brakes Deep Stage kit is amazing. I'm here to tell you guys, I love it. I'm so happy to have that on my car and I can't wait. Multiple eight second passes at 160 plus miles an hour and it slowed down every single time. A couple of them just to do it for shits and giggles. I didn't even throw the shoot out and it just hauled the car down like it wasn't even a big deal. So, Bear Brakes. Hit them up. Check out the Deep Stage Kit. It's extremely affordable with uh, regards to what's out there for the aftermarket brakes, and it works amazing. So again, if you're looking for a brake kit that is specifically geared towards a street strip vehicle with these modern day heavy street cars in mind, in my opinion, there's no other better. Just hit up Bear Brakes, check them out. Anyway, I'm gonna put this garage back together, and I'm gonna try and get my life back together Thanks to Hurricane Florence, appreciate it. And I'm Rye, and this is Clapped Out. Peace.